Hi everyone, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we are going to be talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly of looks maxing. Now, looks maxing isn't just our good old innocent glow up. I think there is a much darker side to this popular trend that I would like to make sure that you're all aware of. So as I mentioned, we're gonna talk about the good, the bad, and the downright ugly, which is a little bit ironic considering looks maxing is supposed to be making you more attractive, but there are really some dark, ugly sides of this that I want you all to be aware of and to really understand before diving into this. So first, in typical Courtney fashion, I'd like to start off the video on a positive note. Like most things in life, there are pros and there are cons. And although there is a dark and ugly side of this trend that I'm going to discuss in detail, there are also some benefits here that I think, generally speaking, could impact men's lives in a healthy way. So starting with the good, as I mentioned, there are some things I think looks maxing content gets right. Maybe not current looks maxing content, but really the initial intention of looks maxing content. Again, I think the positives really overlap with glow up type of advice. And when approached in a healthy and balanced way, looks maxing can help guys improve their self-confidence, improve their grooming and hygiene habits, develop a sense of personal style. Maybe it can inspire you to go to the gym and take care of your health and well-being through things like fitness, nutrition, and overall self-improvement in the pursuit of prioritizing yourself, self-discipline, and consistency. All of these things can boost your confidence, enhance your appearance, and improve your overall well-being in a healthy way. Again, emphasis on healthy and balanced way. I think these things can really help men with their self-esteem, maybe have better social interactions and a more positive self-image. Now, I know for a lot of guys, this can also provide a sense of community and support for people interested in personal development, which is great. And I think we can all get on board with that. So in my opinion, I think the positives here are taking better care of yourself overall, physically, mentally, emotionally, again, going to the gym, eating healthy, improving your hygiene and your grooming routines, learning how to dress for your body type, finding what looks good on you. I mean, there are a lot of very innocent and harmless things here that I think generally are helping men. Like, I don't think everything that looks maxing includes is necessarily malicious. Again, I think things get taken to an extreme and that's why it has become sort of an issue. Um, but I don't necessarily think that every single aspect of looks maxing is toxic. Again, the more positive, lighthearted things tend to overlap with more glow up type advice and aren't really into the deep depths of what looks maxing has unfortunately become. Some of the pushback I have received on saying things such as, use shampoo or use soap on your body in the shower instead of just letting the water hit you is a bit concerning, okay? The pushback I've received is leading me to believe that this level of the content is maybe necessary. You know, I think my cat has a better grooming routine than some of you. Like if you're not using soap in the shower, are we okay? My cat Biscuit cleans herself better than you. So again, I do think some aspects of looks maxing can be helpful and can just help men have a better self image and feel more confident in themselves by doing very basic things that make someone feel better, right? Working out, eating healthy, having good hygiene, having a nice grooming routine, dressing well. You know, a common theme in a lot of looks maxing content is the topic of men's skincare. And as you know, I've been preaching from the rooftops about men needing a skincare routine for literal years now. And there is no better way to get started than with today's sponsor, T. Shanley. T. Shanley simplifies the process of taking care of your skin. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. I recommend starting with their level one system, which comes with all of the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 and a PM moisturizer. This isn't something that you wanna put off because prevention is key. Your future self with great skin will be thankful. Tiege wants to make it a no-brainer for you to get started on your skincare journey. So when you click the first link in the description, you'll not only get 30% off of your first box and a free gift, but you'll even get 20% off for life. Also, they just launched two new free gifts. One is a silicone body scrubber. If you've never used one of these before, it is a game changer. I have one for myself and it just really helps clean your body without harboring the bacteria of a loofah. Yuck. The other gift option is their new nail and face grooming kit that includes four tools that every man needs in his arsenal. Yes, actually needs, not the fluff, okay? Gotta clip your nails, keep them clean. These new gifts are at least a $20 value. So go to the first link in the description and get started on your skincare journey today. So to wrap up the good section, I do think there are some positives to this. I'm sure there are more than what I mentioned specifically, um, but I really just wanted to highlight that not everything that Looks Maxing talks about is toxic or negative. So 
Just want to get that out of the way. But now I want to talk about the bad. And look, I'm not going to tell you that looks do not matter at all. I think looks matter to an extent. And I think taking care of yourself inside and out is important. But looks are not everything. Some potential negatives of looks maxing include fostering unrealistic beauty standards. Yes, this absolutely applies to men as well. Promoting an excessive focus on physical appearance over inner qualities, which is when I think this all starts to become a real issue. This is leading to body dysmorphia and a ton of other mental health issues for men and reinforces very shallow and superficial values in our society that I don't ultimately think help contribute to healthy relationships with oneself or other people. I also think this reaches a point where it makes you more hyper fixated on all the things that you don't like about yourself and ends up making you feel even worse. Then when you fix one thing, you instantly move on to something else to hate about yourself. There are always going to be these aesthetic trends online that come and go. So to tie your self-worth to having a certain physical attribute that you don't have is just so beyond sad to me and I would hate for any of you to feel like that. Looks Maxing places a huge emphasis on facial symmetry and your canthal tilt and just having these certain features that some people just do not have and there's no way to achieve these features without taking drastic measure um, whether that be through cosmetic procedures or a ton of other crazy stuff that people are doing that i'll talk about in the ugly category um, but there are also some things that i wouldn't necessarily put in the ugly category that i want to speak about in the bad section here um, that could definitely cause issues for some people things like chewing gum excessively or mewing might seem totally fine but for a lot of people this can actually cause issues with the functionality of your jaw and if you have an underlying problem Problem, like TMJ or something like that, which I personally have, this can make the problem even worse. I also wanted to briefly talk about this because this is one of the main things I see in looks maxing content, which is the concept of mewing, which is basically your tongue posture in your mouth or how mewing for hours a day as an adult could potentially change your facial structure. I don't know that. I also think there's not a lot of evidence to back up the fact that that is the case. There are a lot of people who are coming online and telling you that mewing hours and hours and hours a day can completely change your facial structure. Maybe it has worked for some people, I really don't know, but I also know if you're someone who already has issues or an underlying problem, this can make your issue so much worse. And I'm telling you this because I'm actually in the process of seeing a fantastic dentist and we decided to get to the root of my jaw issues. I have TMJ really bad. I grind my teeth in my sleep, I clench. It's a mess. And I'm going to have to probably look into getting a palate expander to address my underlying issues that are causing other problems in my life. So things like mewing hours and hours a day won't work for me. It's debatable on if it even works in adults or not. There's mixed information online about this. Again, I'm not a professional, so I don't know, but people say that tongue posture is important in children um, while their jaws are still forming and the bone on the roof of their mouth is not completely fused together yet. And what I really wanna talk about in this bad section here is that not everything online is going to apply to you or work for your situation. And I think it is really important to remember that when you're consuming this type of content. I think a lot of this content makes it seem like it's 100% guaranteed to work for you. And also people show results that aren't real or results that have just come with puberty. You know, if a guy's posting a video about all these things he did to change his appearance, but the before image is from when he was 12 and the after image is from when he's 22, let's use our noggins. So unfortunately, I think a lot of this content has become misleading and it over promises results to you that maybe are not necessarily real or applicable to you. Also, I really want to emphasize the importance of doing your own research and not just listening blindly to medical advice that people are giving on the internet, right? I always give a disclaimer anytime I'm talking about something even remotely related that I am not a doctor and it's so important for you to do your due diligence and do your own research and do what is best for you and your body and your life. So I just really want to encourage you guys to do your own research and also understand that not everything online is going to apply to you or be something that is going to work for you. Like for me, mewing, I would say it's not necessarily going to hurt me to try mewing, but I don't know that because I have an underlying issue. You know, if you don't have a chiseled, handsome Squidward jawline, it doesn't mean that you're never going to have a girlfriend. And I think a lot of this content really preys on the insecurities that people are experiencing. A lot of this content is trying to convince you that you'll never get a girlfriend unless you have that handsome Squidward jawline, you're mewing 24 hours a day, you have the perfect facial ratio and symmetry, and you get a hair transplant in Turkey. Like, it is getting crazy, which leads me into the ugly 
and dark and dangerous side that I want to talk about of looks maxing. So as I already said, while looks maxing involves harmless, simple things like eating healthy, having a skincare routine, there is also a very dark and dangerous side that takes it to such an extreme that I can't even I can't believe we've got here because this is the internet. Like most things, the extreme end of this trend is unhealthy, it's unbalanced, and it's causing harm both physically and mentally to men. Now, unfortunately, the extremes of looks maxing are rooted in this belief that physical appearance is the sole cause of dating and relationship struggles. And I'm happy to burst the bubble here that this is not true. Do the most handsome men in the world have more options in women? Yeah, they probably do but you don't need to be the most handsome man in the world and change all of these things about yourself in order to be in a healthy, happy relationship. You know, while wanting to approve your appearance is fine to an extent, it reaches a point when we are directly tying our worth and our value to our physical appearance, which is not healthy in the long run for men or for women. Men are being convinced by these videos, by these Reddit groups, that they need to go to Turkey to get leg lengthening surgery, that they need to shell out 50, 100K to break their legs, to go through this insane process and surgery with the potential to be detrimental to your future quality of life in order to get a girlfriend. Like, are, are we okay? And I'm not gonna go super in depth here on that surgery specifically because I've actually made an entire dedicated video to it. I will link it below for you guys to check out. Please go watch it um, because I think it's really important and incredibly sad to see men feel that they need to do this. So the leg lengthening surgery, men are out here injecting anabolic steroids. They are wearing devices to stretch out, how do I say this gracefully? Their private area. When I saw this, I knew that I had to make a video. Actually, to give you guys a little bit of insight, I had this video planned and then this morning, I saw that Penguins posted a video about looks maxing and I watched his video, and when he was reacting to the guy who was promoting a product to you where you strap something on your leg, wear it during the day, that is basically pulling down on your private area to stretch it out, I nearly passed away. I audibly gasped, and I just could not believe that men are doing this. And let's be real, where does this all stem from? It stems from not feeling good enough. It stems from a deep-rooted insecurity that you are not worthy the way that you are. And it is incredibly sad to see people being this extreme and just preying on people's insecurities. Now, I'll admit, I haven't watched every single looks maxing video that's ever been made. I haven't looked at every single thread on Reddit, but I've seen enough to know that this has reached such a toxic and unhealthy point for men that I am deeply concerned for a lot of you. And my hope with this video is that you can clearly see the positives and the negatives, and anything that gets taken to this extreme becomes incredibly unhealthy because it's missing any sort of balance. I also saw some content online about something called bone smashing, which there was mixed reviews on if people are really doing it or not, or if it was just a joke or whatever it was, but I saw enough about it for it to raise concern to me, where people are changing the shape of their face by hitting themselves with blunt objects to like break their bones and restructure their faces. Again, I don't know every detail about that. I saw mixed things about it online, but I feel the need to say it just in case anyone was thinking about doing that. Please don't. I mean, it is just absolutely deranged and insane to tell men that they need to shell out hundreds of thousands of dollars to completely change their appearance, make themselves look a very specific way in order to get a girlfriend in order to have any chance in dating because that's all that women like. As a woman, I am sitting here and telling you that is not true. It's not true. And it's so sad because I know when you're at a low point, when you're feeling really bad about yourself, it's so much easier to believe these people and cling on to what they're saying and believe it to be true because you want something to fix your problems. Um, and I'm not even going to say it's an easy fix because it's not. I mean, the, the hoops that they're telling you you need to jump through in order to be worthy of, you know, a woman in your life is just insane. It is insane and deranged and sad. And I'm sorry to all of you who are feeling that way or believing that content. 
You do not need to have perfect facial symmetry in order for someone to love you. You don't need to go to Turkey to get a hair transplant or leg lengthening surgery. You don't need to inject yourself with anabolic steroids. You don't need to wear a device on your leg all day that connects to your private regions and stretches it out. And some of the threads that I was reading on Reddit made me deeply concerned for our society and the future of the world. So many of us are so chronically online that it's just deeply disturbing. Men will post pictures and ask the people in the forum to rate them and tell them all these things they need to change about themselves and it's brutal. It is harsh and it is brutal and it's sad. You know, it's sad when people post that of themselves and are looking for that external, you know, validation or attention, but it's also sad when someone will post a photo of someone else and then the comments are just everything that's wrong with them or everything they need to do to change their appearance and it is just exhausting. And I think it reaches this extreme point when it makes you hyper fixate on all of the things you don't like about yourself even more. Again, there are harmless, surface level, very you know innocent things that you can do to improve your life and your confidence. And I think a lot of that is great. You know, use soap in the shower, get a nice haircut, have a skincare routine, put on an outfit that makes you feel great. But my Lord, just understand that this content has become extreme. And it has reached this point where it is so unhelpful and just vapid and deeply disturbing. I mean, those are, those are the best ways I can describe it. I am a huge believer in self-improvement and bettering yourself and making yourself a healthier person on the inside out. But I think it has really reached a point where it's doing so much more harm than good. Um, so I would just encourage you to keep that in mind when you're consuming this type of content or just don't consume that type of content at all. Um, you know, if you are chronically online in Reddit groups talking about how you need your eyes to be tilted a certain way in order to be attractive where you need to get all these crazy surgeries and spend a ton of money and you're not worthy and all this, please just stop going on it. Shut down the computer. Go outside. Go for a walk. And just be happy to be alive. That's it. So guys, that's all I have for this video. If you liked it or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I would love for you to share your personal experience. If you're open to sharing, have you ever been in any of those Reddit groups? Have you ever consumed this content online? What are your thoughts about it? I would just love to hear from all of you guys down in the comments from a male point of view as well. You know, I know as a woman, I've definitely experienced a lot of the feelings that it probably makes you feel. Um, it's just maybe not looks maxing and it looks a little bit different, but you know, take it from someone who has made changes to my physical appearance in order to you know, try to be more attractive or try to feel more worthy or try to be happier. When you directly tie your happiness to your physical appearance and the way that you look, you'll never be happy. And it took me a while to realize that, but I feel like I'm at a really good place where I don't do that anymore. And it's such a freeing feeling and has helped my confidence tenfold. It is so important to approach these things in a healthy and balanced way and not find yourself in these extremes that just make you feel worse about yourself and prey on your insecurities. So let me know what you think down in the comments. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.